Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video. Here we are going to discuss about the get app credential or we call it get application credential also. Let us see the agenda for this video. So today we are going to code the get app credential dot XAML. So what exactly is a get app credential? Whenever in the automation, wherever there is a requirement to log in to any application whether there is a web application SAP application or for that matter any application that requires a user ID and the password we require the credential and the credential are stored in the orchestrator right so how can we use that credential in the UiPath studio that we are going to see in the previous version of the robotics enterprise framework the get app credential was available at directly as a plug and play but now in the latest one it uipath has removed the get app credential from the robotics enterprise template so here we are going to code the get app credential from the scratch define input and output arguments do the exception handling then we are going to use and implement the same in a sample process we are going to see how we can create a get app credential by ourselves and use it in any of the process Process, and all of this by a step-by-step -step demonstration in UiPath Studio. I am in my UiPath Studio so what happens if I click on the robotics enterprise template so I will go here in the template I will click on the robotics enterprise template it will open a new framework for me so as of now this is uh, let's say I will call it robotics under enterprise framework underscore new I will hit on create now what exactly we are looking here is the get app credential thing so this is a new version of the robotics enterprise template which is provided by uipath now if i go to the project you will see under framework right we do not have something called get app credential so if you are a developer uh, who was using re framework from the older version you would have seen there was an app which was there was an xaml which was called the get app credential that xaml was responsible to fetch the credential and give us the user id and the password what that used to do let me go back to one another solution which i have this is a old solution this one this is an old solution which is for from the UI path so in that this one under framework we used to have get app credential this guy and if I just open the get app credential so what this uh, get app credential was doing it used to fetch the credential from orchestrator if the assets are uh, this credential is not available in the orchestrator it would fetch the credential from the windows credential store and again if this thing also fail it used to give, give me a pop-up asking for the user id and the password and uh, by asking the request credential and then uh, it would proceed accordingly but now in the enhanced version or the modified version the get app credential is not available so if you look at the dependencies we only have the dependencies in the new framework only for excel activities and ui automation so that makes sense right why should we unnecessarily import the things which we don't require so this is a new version but now since we are developing the web automation or any kind of automation there is always a need to have the get app credential in this video we are looking at how exactly can we build our own get app credential right so what can we do how can we start so let me go ahead and click on the new sequence so this can be your any of the process it not only applies to the robotics enterprise framework that can be a linear process a sequence or a flowchart you can use the same concept and use this thing to get the credential so i will just call it get app credentials right and i will hit create now the xaml is created let me go ahead and put it in the framework folder like this okay so now what we want to do so we want to fetch the credential so where would the credential come from the credential would be coming from the orchestrator right so for that so if i ask you what exactly do you need from the credential thing so definitely the answer would be i would require a user id and the password okay so let me go ahead and create two arguments out underscore username username okay and out underscore password so this is whatever uh, i have specified two out arguments that means that whenever this workflow will run it will give me two arguments that would be user id and the password now user id is definitely going to be string but how what about the password right so the password is going to be a secure string because we cannot 
get the password in a plain string because this is a secure thing so we will type here secure string and we will use this one security dot secure string okay so now what will happen whenever this workflow will run we are expecting it to output two things one is the user id and another one is the password okay so now which credential it will fetch right so we would have to store the credential somewhere in the asset or anything right so definitely this thing requires an credential name so if i just go to the older version so if you will look at the previous version of the get app credential this was the same arguments out password in credential and out username so two out arguments and one input argument called in credential so this was nothing but a asset that holds the name of the credential so let us keep it like that only so i will make it like this this will be of in and this is of type string now how can we fetch the password so before fetching the password we should first have the password right so let me go to the cloud orchestrator i am in my default orchestrator so this is the orchestrator i am connected to my ui path so if i go to my ui path studio so i will just close the old guy so this was the old framework which was having the get app credential right so let me close this one so we are we only have one solution we don't want to save it i just wanted to show it to you how it looks like so this is our thing right so we want to get the app credential so before getting the app credential where we will get the credential for we will store that thing in a orchestrator so if i am in my orchestrator now if i go to the asset so let me first create an asset for the credential type i will go ahead and create an asset i will click on add now i will name this thing as credential for demo okay so what would be the type as of now orchestra provides us the four types. since we want to have the user id and the password we'll go ahead and take the credential thing right and i will just give a description i will call it credential for the acme site okay now where do i want to store the credential i want to store it in the orchestra database next what is the username so the username which i want to have is my username so this is my cloud email account so i will just use that here and the password i will put the password here and i'll hit create now the asset is created in the orchestrator with the name credential demo now how do i use that in my newly created xaml right so for that first if i go here i will type asset right so, and you will see we have under the assets category we have get asset get credential set asset and set credential so we would we want to get the credential from the orchestrator so we will use the get credential thing now get credential if i go to the properties the properties names are simple it is asking for the asset name so as of now we are passing the asset name as an in argument so this guy in underscore credential right so this will go in the properties it will go here and as an output it provides me the provide me the user id and the password so user id we want to have in the out user I, out underscore username and the password we want to have in the out underscore password that's it now what happens if it encounters a, some exception right so for that what we will do is i will right click and encapsulate this thing in a try catch block so let me go ahead and surround it with try catch now what happens what do i want to do when there is some exception in the get credential right so i want to have that exception and then i want to log an exception of type error so i will go ahead and create a log log i will take a log message and this would be of type error and i want to just log the exception and i will type here exception in getting the credentials so now this entirely depends on your implementation how do you want to treat this exception so for me i am just want to log in the error message in the orchestrator and what i want to give the message i want to just type the exception dot to string that will print me the entire exception stack trace in the orchestrator so this is done our get credential get app credential is ready so if i just repeat we have two input arguments sorry we have two, one input arguments that is the in and we have two output arguments called the user id and the password now once our get app credential is ready if i go to the project under framework 
this is ready so you won't see any difference so we have just created the get app credential now how do we use it right so for that what i will do is i will create a normal sequence right i will call this a uh, temp sequence and we will just try to use the get app credential which we have recently created right so let me just quickly open the internet explorer i explore and uh, just navigate to the acme site acme url this is the website provided by uipath we want to just enter the credential to this website login dot acme at this guy so what i want to do is first thing i want to open a browser so i will type here open browser next it will ask me what is the url i will give the url as this now whenever this uh, browser is opening what we want to do we want to type into the user id the password i will take a type into activity i will write here type into and then i will point it to where exactly i want to uh, type the thing right so we want to type it in the email so i will point it to the email right next we have to type the password to type the password we have an activity called type secure text that will expects only a secure text so i'll go to the indicate an element and again we'll point it to the password thing once the user id and the password are successfully keyed by in the bot what do i want to do i want to click on the login button so i take a click activity and i will point it to the login button right so now where do we get this thing right so we already have a xaml which is created called get app credential so before this sequence what i will do i'll go to the project and i will drag and dra drag and drop simply the framework which we have just created that is called the get app credential i will drag and drop it here now it will ask me some things right so if i go to the import arguments it will ask me one input input arguments that is the credential name so for us the credential name is stored in the credential demo we can directly pass it here control c and control v like this so this expect and string so in the real world automation this will be coming from your configuration file so this would be simple in config object the name of the asset dot to string now where do you want to store so we have passed the credential name right so it would output me the user id and the password so i will quickly go here and create two variables so i'll hit control plus k it i will write str username and for the password i will again hit control plus k and i will create a variable called password okay i will hit okay now if i go to the variables i would have two variables created one is for the username and the password again it is of the type secure string so since i have used control plus k that uh, creates a variable with the defined data type right so if i go to the open browser now now what exactly we want to type in the input field we want to type the username and where exactly is the username in the str username that's it where do we want to store the password i go to the properties and in the password what is the password so the secure text so this is the input the secure text we have stored in the variable called password i'll just pass it here and that's it now if i just run this automation what should happen is the bot should be able to successfully log in to this acme site right let us try that i'll go ahead and close this automation let me go back to my uipath studio and i will run this file okay so let us wait for the bot to execute the first thing is it should open the internet explorer with the url specified so the bot has started its execution okay so now it is user id password and hit on login and the login was successful if i go back here i was successfully able to log into the acme thing right so that is how the uh, get app credential works so now you can use this get app credential in any of your process sequence flowchart so if you will see this is nothing but a simple sequence where i am using the get, get app credential now let us see what happens in case of exception so in case of exception let me go to the import arguments and i will change this thing to credential demo one and i hit okay now if i just save it and run the process what should happen is it should go in the workflow right it will open the workflow it will get the credential and if this credential is not found it should give me some exception right so why don't we run this flow in the debug mode so i will go here and i will put a debugger here 
right so that way we'll be able to look exactly how the bot is performing so i have put a debugger and intentionally we have put a wrong credential name right so i will go here and debug the file the bot has started it is on the get credential now it will uh, uh, type the wrong asset name if i go into step into now we will get an exception and the bot will go to the exception it will log an error message that uh, some error message that could not find an asset with this name right so <coughs> that depends now on your implementation how do you want to proceed you can always go ahead and throw this exception back you can stop the process you can just retry you can ask the bot to get a different credential you can send a message and that entirely depends on your automation right so okay so that completes the implementation of the get application credential let's have a quick recap in this video we have seen how can we code a get app credential dot xaml from scratch we have defined the input and argu output arguments we have seen how the exception handling work we were successfully able to use and implement the same in the acme site where we logged into the acme site by creating an asset in the orchestrator and with the help of the newly created get app credentials we were successfully able to get the credential and log into the application so that is all for this video thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation mm -hmm.